Over the last month, we have seen the headlines just pouring in. Tesla does this, Tesla does that. Are they in panic mode right now? All right, I've got a list of things, observations, if you will, of things over the last month that Tesla has done that collectively kind of has me scratching my bald head. It's kind of bizarre once you put all these things together and we're gonna run down the list and then I want you to tell me what you think uh, down in the comments. Of course, you can start doing that now because I'm sure you already have an opinion, even though I've done nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, March end of quarter. By now, by now, the prices are going to raise once April 1 hits. That was the uh, the messaging they were sending in April. That is kind of normal procedure for any company to uh, spur sales and get, get people buying for that end of quarter numbers. And they, you know, they, they use the scare tactic, uh, tactic of the prices are rising after March. Well, unfortunately, uh, that didn't work out too well because... March came and went, April started a new quarter, and the sales expectations were less than desirable. In fact, uh, word is 46,000 Teslas. They overmade, overbuilt 46,000 more cars than they sold, sitting on lots even today, right now. Uh, Model 3s and mostly Model Ys, from what I'm hearing. So they missed expectations by 46,000, which means they had to reduce prices, right? Well, they removed the inventory discounts. So all the cars that are in the inventory, meaning you don't custom build it, which for a while on the website, you didn't even have a choice to custom build it. You had to go right to inventory because they had so many uh, already there. Uh, I think now you can actually go into the builder part of the page and, and, and build your car, and it probably comes from inventory anyway because all these cars have uh, pretty basic accessories or upgrades or whatever. whatever. So... Uh, they removed all the discounts. There was some up to $5,000 discounts on cars and inventory. Why would you do that? You've got 46,000 cars. You've got to move these cars. Why would you remove the discounts? Of course, everybody was excited when uh, they released full self-driving for free for the month of April. Unfortunately, some people still haven't gotten it yet, but if you did, you got a chance to check it out for free. And because of that, then they made an announcement that they are cutting the monthly subscription from $199 a month down to $99 a month. That's a little more palatable. So is that another weird mixed message? Because all along, Elon has been saying that you buy full self-drive and it's going to be worth more in the future than when, what you paid for it. And now it's down to $99 a month subscription. And then they announced that the buyout version, which was at 12000 and before that, 16,000 to buy out full self-drive is now been cut in half from the 16 anyway, but from 12 down to eight. So $8,000 if you want to buy full self-drive outright. I don't know why, who in the right mind would do that. You have to keep your car a very long time to pay the monthly subscription up to $8,000 in addition the buyout, as of right now, you still can't move it car to car like you can the subscription. You'd have to be kind of crazy to buy it out at $8,000. But at, at any rate, it doesn't go along with the messaging from Elon that full self-drive is the future, uh, robo-taxis, and this is going to be worth more than when you paid for it. Meanwhile, Tesla prices are plummeting because of all the mixed messaging, because of all the price fluctuations going up and down, it's been pretty crazy. It's been a crazy month for sure. Another thing that hit my radar that I don't think anybody has even picked up on yet is we are hearing about a big, big spring software update. It's coming. And if you look, if you dig deep, it's going to create a great divide. Now, Intel and AMD, those with the Intel chips, which are most of the fleet, the older Model 3s and Ys and et cetera, and the AMD, the newer uh, uh, processor, there's going to be a great divide now because a lot of the features coming out in the spring software update are AMD only. There's going to be a huge, and I don't understand it because we have all the crazy cool full self-drive visualizations on this 2019 with the Intel chip. And the things I'm seeing that's going to be divided to the AMD only are 
kind of visual things anyway. So why are they creating this divide? I get it, this car is old and old technology gets left by the wayside and what are you complaining for, right? But it's a weird timing, is all I'm saying, to make this divide on something that seems visual about the same visual anyway as the full self-drive that this car is completely capable of already. They're ending the referral program. At a time when they want to sell more cars, they are ending their referral program come the end of April. So no more points. Uh, Elon said there's gonna be a new referral program, probably not as good. And I just, I, the timing, it's all timing. It's all bizarre to me because why would you take away a referral program at a time when you've got 46,000 extra cars? I'm sure it's less now, but that was the number we heard recently, the beginning of April. Why would you, ref you need every piece of help you can get to move these cars, get people to buy them. I don't know. So to recap, it's a lot of things all at once. It's not like they had one little thing that said, oh, well, they're, they're losing their minds. Uh, Tesla, is de def Tesla is definitely panicking. You got the, uh, the March end of quarter uh, push and telling people prices are going to rise. That didn't work out. They didn't meet expectations. They got 46,000 in inventory. They removed the inventory discounts. They cut full self-driving subscription to $99, which is better. Uh, but then they also cut the full self-drive buyout to $8,000, not in line with what Elon has been promising for years and years now. They're creating that divide with the processors, Intel versus AMD. We're going to see how that plays out. Luckily, I have a friend who has an AMD Model 3, so I'm going to see exactly what he gets compared to what I get, even on my 2022 Tesla Model Y, which still has the Intel chip. And, of course, they're ending their referral program. All these things together are... Um, it's a collection of weird stuff. It's going to be, strap yourself in. It's going to be fun to watch. Finally, I do want to mention the big cyber truck stuck accelerator pedal massive recall. Yeah, uh, these headlines are, are troublesome at best. It's like 4,000 units. They just started delivering these things. The fix from what I've seen takes about 30 seconds. Whatever you're seeing on these, these sensationalized headlines about the cyber truck and the recall... Let's compare it to Dodge, who had several hundred thousand cars recalled recently. This is a nothing burger at best. Stop targeting Tesla for that particular reason. All right, there you go. I don't normally do videos like this because it's Tesla tips and trips, and this doesn't fall under a trip or a tip, but I just wanted to kind of point all these things out together, and uh, let's start a discussion down below. Let's uh, get things going down in the comment section. What do you think? I know this is going to be a pretty polarizing video and a pretty uh, polarizing set of comments down below, but uh, let's get into it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It truly means a lot. And uh, hit the bell too, uh, that way you know when something is new. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.